Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're gonna add another tail dragger to the collection. These are pretty sweet. I think it's modeled after about a 41 Ford or so. I love these. They're probably one of my favorite castings next to the Supervan. I wish they were a little bit more consistent with the color of the glass on these things. As you can see, we got orange on this one, red on this one. So it's a little it's a little bit of a struggle, but these candy paints look absolutely amazing on these things and they're like little treasures. So so between using our candy paints and a couple of our other little odds and ends from Createx, we're gonna mix up a little bit of cheater root beer brown and we're gonna try and make a real gorgeous little rod out of this thing too. The glass is pretty dark, so I think we'll get away with whatever we do. And I think this has got a blue interior in it, like just question marks all over the place with these tail draggers. But anyways, let's get this one apart today and we'll get going on it here. Purple interior. My, this is a very confusing project, this one. <laughs> Metal base, so that's what I really love about these tail draggers. Even though they're trying to paint it to look plastic, that's a legit metal base, and uh, that's, that's what I like to see, man. We'll probably strip this one down to metal again because I like to have polished bumpers on things, but we can leave that till later. I wanna give this a good scuff, and then we'll drop her in our little tank. Mm, there your Q-tip. Just trying to scuff up some of this clear coat on here so that it strips a little bit nicer. A little tail dragger. Kind of looks good in matte white, to be honest. Glee, 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 glee. Got some wheels that are similar to what I've been putting on these tail draggers. These are five spoke, these are a six spoke, but they got a lot of the similar vibes and they look real good on that candy. Just look at that thing. It looks like it's just soaking wet in my fingertips. That was a questionable phrase. Clunk. And in just two minutes, you guys are probably getting tired of me saying it, but man, that's some good paint stripper. That works good. A little brass brush and some hot soapy water will take care of everything that's left on here. So I'm gonna go clean this up quick. We'll come back, we'll see about mounting these wheels. These tail draggers always need a ton of work on these front fenders right here. Oh yeah, my Christmas lights, I keep forgetting to hang them up. Yeehaw, Jim Bob, this is gonna be the best Christmas ever. 12 gauge, perfect. Hell yeah, it's starting to look like Christmas now. We got our we got our number eight light skeet shot shotgun shells. Those lights are left over from my old channel. We won't talk about that though. It's kind of a taboo subject around here. All we need now is a decent Festivus pole and we're good to go. We should probably do some sort of Christmas project. I haven't really planned for that. Maybe we can make a cool something rather. I'll look into it. We'll see if we can do a little bit of Christmas cheer. Right, I've got our car nicely prepped with some scotch bread. All my filings done. So this is looking real good. I'll have to do a final degrease before we go do some painting. But before that, let's mix up some paint. I can't say it enough about these Createx paints. You can mix and match just about all the products. So today we need to come up with a root beer brown. That is tricky business. So I'm gonna be starting with this dirt track brown. This does not come across as brown at all. When you spray this stuff, it comes out as like a real brilliant red, believe it or not. We're adding cosmic sparkle gold. I'm gonna put in a bunch, probably like 50-50 mix. A lot of these paints are super old, so I'm just trying to use up some of this stuff at this point. We're going to add some 4105 gold plating. This is another Createx product. You can see all the golds at the bottom here. And once she's all mixed, so we're going to be relying pretty heavily on this gold to come up with our root beer. So I'm going to put in quite a bit of this. That's starting to look like something now, eh? So I don't normally try to sell you guys paint, but it is worth noting that this is professional automotive paint that you can get in little two ounce bottles. Where else can you get that besides Createx? So that's looking real good, it's looking trippy. I don't know what it's gonna do. It's gonna be interesting to spray it. It's looking funky. I like that. So, so I'll go give this a final degrease with some hot soapy water. These hemostats. And I'll meet you in the spray booth. And remember, we're gonna lay down a black sealer for this instead of white. So that's gonna be a little bit different than usual. Let's go give it a try.
All right, so here's our little tail dragger so far. You know, it's crazy. Without that little bit of gold cosmic sparkle that I put in the paint, this stuff is basically just a burgundy. So I think this is gonna look real sweet. So I'm gonna head back to the spray booth and we're gonna give this a nice clear coat. And it's gonna be beautiful. Normally when I do these tail draggers, I like to have these chrome bumpers. And usually when these are painted by Hot Wheels, they're in pretty bad shape. So we gotta, gotta do a bunch of cleaning up before they look good polished. I kind of filed away all the chunkies first, and now we're just gonna do a little bit of a, we're just gonna sand with a little bit of 600 for now. I have prepared our base with a couple little axle tubes. Everything should be ready to go here. The bumpers are looking pimp. Wee, 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 wee. As long as our body's done drying, I think we could do an assembly. So I got our body back from paint, so I'm ready to do a quick assembly here. And then we'll uh, have a look at this bad boy in the light box. I think she's going to be another beautiful, glossy treasure like this one. So allow me to do a quick assembly, and then we'll have a look at this bad boy. So here's our root beer tail dragger. What do you guys think of that one? Man, that root beer turned out really nice. I've been meaning to kind of test out that color for a while. That's the cool thing about these Createx, you know, you just mix and match everything and you can kind of come up with your own colors. Like if we did the exact same paint job, but we put a different color cosmic sparkle, it would have changed everything. So the possibilities are pretty much endless if you have a couple couple bottles of Createx colors. You just mix them all up and make anything you want. So that turned out real good. I'm happy with that. It's going to look real nice in the old lead sled collection. I ended up taking the white interior out of this purple beast and swapping it with this one. So now we got a white interior in the brown and a purple in a purple. You feel me, Tail Dragon fans? It's pretty sweet. Beautiful, man. I think that thing turned out real good. I'm not really sure which project you guys are going to see next, but I'll have something for you guys in a day or so. So until then, please say hello in the comments. Leave a like to the algorithm gods. Keep your stick on the ice and, you know, we're just going to go.